I have text message, Your Honor, where her and Amber both discussed in text message that they knew that, and for the twelve fifty that they paid was a verbal agreement, and that only came up. I'm a, telling I, you, I contractually, you cannot have a modification of a written contract unless it is modified in the same form as the written contract. Yes, ma'am. That's called parole evidence. You cannot introduce evidence. So you're ahead of the game. Okay. So what I'm suing for. Your Honor, is from September 15th, the month to month, that she was to pay $1,000 a month until she gave notice in December that she would be out on January the 14th. What difference does it make? You told me that the rent she owed was $1,430. And that... That's what you told me. You already have of hers $2,250. The difference in that is $820 bucks in her favor. Yes, That's what the lease says. I understand the lease. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, when we met together with her mother, her mother called to ask to meet with us and brought up the fact that, yes, they were paying the twelve fifty. She agreed in the meeting with her mother that that was our verbal agreement. Okie dokie. What, what, Your Okie Honor? dokie. I've, Wait. I've explained it to you three times. I, I have a written contract. The written contract and, is what it is. Okay. If you want to modify it or change it, no, you, you're the landlord. You change it in the same form as the written document, which is, I agree to modify the rent to twelve fifty. And if you don't, this is what you're stuck with. Okay. Okay. And that okay. lease ended on September 14th. I'm suing her from her month to month after that for the rent she did not pay after that. You Nothing told, about... You told me that she owe... I said to you, that, how much does she owe you in rent? Okay. You said $1,430 is what is, she owes me in rent. That was my question. That's what you answered me. And, That's what I'm taking as gospel. Yes, ma'am. That means she still overpaid under the terms of her lease $820. Her lease was up September 15th. We're done. Now, you have a counterclaim that's ridiculous. You have a counterclaim for a floor that you put in. A floor that, if you look at the lease, you're I'm not... Honor. Listen to me. Did you leave? Did you leave? Yes, ma'am. What did you expect to do with the floor that you put in? I actually opened a new dance studio, and if the floor was in good condition, I could have picked it up and put Sh it in my new building. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. Do you have an expert to tell me that? Yes. No, no, a, a person. Uh, no. Not a piece of paper, a person. You put a floor in, it didn't work out in this place. Do you have a new place? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Your case is dismissed. Your, We're done. Your Honor. Parties are excused. You may step out. Everything really, really started to go downhill as soon as I reported our neighbors who were smoking pot to the police. There was. Uh, we, she called and told me. The police started to do an investigation, and that's when everything kind of plummeted. We called the police. She called the police, and then we followed up. The neighbors actually ended up getting evicted. They didn't get evicted. They moved out. Because they were, uh, what I have been told, they were very good friends, and she was going to handle it herself. And I don't know why she's talking about the neighbors, but I don't know them. And when it did not get handled, I handled it myself. Yep, always get it in writing. I'm really glad that she stuck to the contract, because that's what I signed, and that's what I agreed to.